Hi guys, in this video we're going to see how we can create this minimal logo re reveal and we're going to do this right inside of Premiere Pro using this motion graphics template. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to close this video and we're right inside of Premiere Pro. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new sequence, so file, new and sequence from here. You can select the setting that you want from here and then simply click OK. And from here, we are going to make sure that you have the Essential Graphics window opened up. If that is not opened up, simply go to Window and make sure that it is on from here, Essential Graphics. So then we can load up our Motion Graphics template, go to Graphics and install Motion Graphics template. Or else you can even install it from right over here by hitting this button. And now find the file that you have purchased in here, the Minimal Particle Light logo. Make sure that it is the .mogrt .mogert file and click on open. And as you can see, it will load up right over here. Now I'm just simply going to drag this inside of my sequence timeline. And in this case, I'm going to change sequence settings so that it adapts to the template in here. You can, of course, keep the existing settings if you'd like to keep the settings of your sequence. So change sequence settings. And let's wait for that to load up in there. And let's wait a couple of seconds in here, just so we make sure that this has loaded up. And then I'm going to move it to the start in here, just like that. So as you can see, it has loaded up our template. We can see the colors of the template. And if we move through it in here, we can see our, our template right over here. So let's get started with this. So let's go to the edit section of the Essential Graphics panel in here. And we can start by editing the logo. So hit this icon in here and click replace from Explorer. Now in this case, make sure that you are using Premiere Pro 2021 or a more recent version of it, since this is a feature that came out with Premiere Pro 2021. So replace, replace from Explorer and we're going to select our, our logo. So select any logo that you have and click on open. Make sure that the logo has a transparent background so that it fits correctly inside of this template. And there it is, as you can see right now, it is a little bit too large in here, so we need to resize that. So simply resize it from here. And let's see how this looks. Perfectly now it fits correctly inside this, of this rectangle. And we can move to the next part. So we can give it a logo color. So let's give it a color from here. Click OK. And as you can see, it adapts to that color just like that. Now the next part is use text instead of a logo. You can use your own text instead of a logo. So simply click that button in that case and it will switch that text. So type in whatever you like in here and it will show up right over here. And in this case, as you can see, it is cutting it slightly from here. So we can resize that if you would like from right over here by giving it a smaller size. And now we can see the text fully, just like that. You can, of course, pick a different font, etc. from here. I'm going to keep using the logo in this case, so I'm going to untick that and jump back to our template in here. So the next part is the slogan right over here. Open that up. You can type in whatever you like in here. So type in whatever you like in there and it will adapt right over here, just like that. Now we have some different things that we can do. First, we can change the font from here as well. We can change the text color and then we can also add or remove a text box. So just by hitting this, this checkbox in here, we can give it a different color. Press OK. And we can also, so let's make it a little bit like darker, just like that. Perfect. And we can also resize that so that it is a, it fits correctly with our text. In this case, let's try 120. And we need to resize it a little bit more, 160 maybe. And now it's, it's too much, so 140, let's see. 150 it should be. So, so that's how you resize the text box. Right now it is fitting correctly over my text, but in, in a case that it doesn't fit, you can even tweak the X position and the Y position just by tweaking these values right over here. 
So that's for the slogan. Now the next thing is the color. So if we go a little bit before and here, so let's zoom in a little bit inside of the template. We can simply pick any color from here. So the logo color we have seen, but for the particles, we can pick colors from here to change those colors. So this green color, as you can see, we have changed it like that. We can change that one and go ahead and give it basically your own colors, just like that. You can even change the colors of the background. So if you would like something different, for instance, I don't know, green maybe. And let's see, let's make this. So we have two colors for the background and it's like a gradient as you can see. And you can tweak those like that as well. And now we're basically done. So all you need to do now is render. So you can add your own music file right over here, simply drag and drop right over here. And then we can export. So file and file and export from here, file, export, media. And this dialog window would open up. We can give it, make sure that export audio is set to on in here. I'm going to set up H.264 as a format. We can give it an output name in here and save it right over in our Explorer. So click Save and then select your settings. In this case, the template is in 4K, so you can render it out in 4K or else you can even, even give it your own your own resolution here so in this case we can render it even in in full hd just like that so with that done we can hit use maximum render quality and for target bitrate in here i like to use something like 35 so that it is quite high if you increase the resolution make sure to increase the target bitrate just so we have the perfect quality in there and then simply hit export and that's basically it wait for it to to render and you're basically done. So